Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a part two of my series where I open up rabbit holes in The Sims 3 and make them into interactive venues. Now I already did part one where I opened up a grocery store and a bistro so the link will be in the description to that as well as links to the mods that I'm going to be using in these videos because I do use quite a few. So today we are going to be doing the school, the community school. Now you can do your community school into a separate elementary school and a high school if you would like I did not do that because it's in Sunset Valley and I wanted to use the lot that it was already on so we just have one lot here so let's just jump right into this I built this today a little bit on stream a little bit off stream and when you're building your school at least for me I find it better to not use all the space make partially like part of it a shell so this entire upstairs is not real there's nothing up here the reason I did that is one for performance because schools are you know gigantic and I don't want to overload my computer trying to load this lot and two because I don't want to have to build every single classroom especially when you're not necessarily going to need that many classrooms um so yeah this is first of all you just want to build your school however you want um there's going to be a link in the description to a mod that I'm using called Zerbu's Ultimate Careers, which I will show off how to use it and everything in this video. But it will come with a readme file that will tell you all the objects that will be compatible with school. So when your kids go to school, they will actually go to this building and you will have to have them interact with the different objects and do different tasks in order to fulfill their performance. So that is the main mod that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using, and I'll show you here, Rabbit Hole Rugs, which if you've watched my other video, you've seen these before. Aha! There it is. Schoolhouse rabbit hole. So you'll just place that down. Unfortunately, it does kind of have to be in an open area. It will kind of mess with the aesthetic of your school. So I just, you know, I'm going to throw that down really quick. Color it so it's a little bit color coded. And you'll just need that for this lot to function. Um, if you want to do like after school activities and stuff, or if you want to have proms, everything like that, they will still need to use this. So they'll still disappear into this. This is only going to be like open for when your sims are actually going to their daily classes so that is what this is going to work best for and this will work not only for your students but it will also work for any of your education careers so it's really great for that as well so i've already built up my school i've included like an art room a music room and then like a science math room and a computer lab a cafeteria now for the cafeteria what i recommend doing is if you have into the future i recommend placing a food synthesizer the kids will just be able to grab their own food eat and then just put like a dishwasher or a trash compactor you're not going to be able to role play having like a lunch lady or anything like that unfortunately there's not really any mods that are going to help you do that because this does have to be marked as a specific type of lot if you don't want a bunch of people showing up all the time you can't have a waiter or anything like that either so yeah, basically, I just recommend building your school out first, figuring out what your layout is and everything. I will probably post this eventually. I just need to figure out how to and where to. It does have some CC in it, so that's always going to be a problem with my builds. But um, if you guys are interested in this, let me know in the comments down below, and I could post this lot for you to use. I did not finish the outside of it because I didn't really care. That's not what I needed for function. I just wanted something that I could use to make this video, and this will work just fine. So this is what it looks like. All right, so I've just gone ahead and loaded up the bunch household. So I'm going to use them since they have plenty of kids. This will be the best way to show it off. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the building that you've created, which as you can see, schoolhouse rabbit hole. You're going to just go in, make, you know, see everything. Da, 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 da. And you're going to click on the wall. Now, once you've had this installed, you'll have this option that says Zerbu when you click on any community lot. You're going to click Zerbu, Ultimate Careers, Add Career or School. And then you're going to add elementary school, schoolhouse, rabbit hole, ultimate careers, add career or school. And if you have two different places, you'll just add one, like the elementary school to the elementary school lot, high school to the high school lot, high school, schoolhouse, rabbit hole. So then you just have to do ultimate careers, add career or school, education career, which is somewhere on this list, education, schoolhouse rabbit hole. And now you've linked all those careers to this lot in that, you know, those two schools and then the career. So when it comes time for them to go to school in the morning, they will come here automatically and I'll show that off. Okay, it is Friday and it is about 8 a.m. now and all of the children now have this interaction that says go to lot. That means they are going to go to school. Um, I did have to literally go a whole entire day to head because it was leisure day yesterday, which is very annoying. But um, so now they're all going to go. Unfortunately, you don't get a school bus with this mod just because 
Ridge Carpools don't work with this mod. You kind of just have to find your own way. Um, but yeah, now they're all going to go. And it will say down here starts in, you know, one day, one hour. Like, it'll always never technically start, but they'll go anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. If it says that, it's fine. That's normal. If it says they're skipping school, that's also normal. If it says anything of that sort, it's normal. It just happens with this mod. So they're all going to go in. And you'll see they'll walk. I don't know why they're going up here to this empty area. You can't really control where they go. And as you can see, there's already a bunch of students here. And they're all <laughs> crowding around the piano. So it is a little bit. You don't have control over everybody. So they're kind of going to do whatever they're going to do. Oh my god, this is the ugliest sim I've ever seen. Oh, it's Malcolm. Um, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. But I will show you how this mod works. Essentially, you can now interact with whatever you... So if I want him to go draw a diagram... And we'll have her come paint on the easel. And I think this is... Um, she's a waiter. Oh my god, it should not have spawned her. I guess the waiters do work. Which is good, because now you have a lunch lady. There you go. Um, I did not expect that to work. And as you can see, whenever they start to use the items that were listed, their performance will go up. And so their grade will go up. It still factors in things like homework. It still factors in their current skills if you have a job. But you actually have to have them go and just work and do certain tasks in order to get their performance up so i think that's really cool and that's basically the gist of it they're gonna go through their work day they're gonna do whatever they're doing like here's some kids in the computer lab they're one of them is writing i think they're writing emails um and then one of them is playing a game um so yeah it's kind of just a fun little way to expand the sims 3 and have open you know careers and everything lots of musical people apparently in this school river mcirish she likes the drums oh here's malcolm Landgrab, and that's the great thing is that you could see that all the sims that would normally just disappear into the lot too they're here so if you want to facilitate relationships with your teen sims and stuff like that it's a lot better that you can actually see them when they're in school and you can have them talk to each other in the school building like i just feel like that adds a whole like another layer to the storytelling so it's just a really cool mod it will be linked down in the description all you need for this specific tutorial is a rabbit hole rug and the zerbu ultimate careers mod which will be coming up those two things will be coming up in the next few videos as well um they're very powerful they're very important to this process and yeah that's about the gist of it so you can just you know have them go to school come up with your own schedule of when you want them to have lunch or anything like that and it should work pretty seamlessly so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful let me know in the comments below if you would like uh me to upload this lot if you don't want to build your own school um let me know what lots you'd like to see me open up next and any other video ideas that you might have and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day